Y'all ready? Let's go, let's go, y'all ready? Let's go, let's go. Hey, my connectors, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Join the family if you like the food. It's the place to be. Then come and have a little fun with your girl, KC. What's up, my connectors? And welcome back to the channel. So today, oh, today, we are having some de-shelled king crab lobster tail drenched or soaked or baked in alfredo sauce so yes i have some lobster tails in here i have king crab in here i have broccoli in here i have noodles in here um i have mushrooms in here which are my favorite and um it's all drenched in alfredo sauce and i have water to drink so if you are new to the channel if you can please hit your subscribe button and your notification bell so you'll be notified when a new video is uploaded don't forget to share like and leave me a comment i truly appreciate it so we're gonna jump right in y'all know the these are de-shelled so we're gonna take these off so we can eat at least those two I'm going to start with this lobster tail I was trying to take a thumbnail with. Okay, just making sure it's hot and mixed. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, I was tasting the sauce as I was. Let me just get a little noodle. Hold on. Mm. My mouth is watering. Come on, Casey. <laughs> Come on. Let me get this broccoli real quick. And then make this lobster tail. Oh, come on. Mm. I'm just pick this up. Making a mess. That is good. Mm. Dropping the cheese. Y'all gotta make that. At least taste it. If you like Alfredo. I left the oven on <clears throat> just in case when taking the thumbnail, you know, sometimes, but baby, that thing hot. I don't even need to, thought I was going to need to reheat it or something. God, that lobster tail was good. I'm trying to make sure I knew where every one of them was. Oh, I forgot to say. And today we're going to do, I'm going ex, to um, expose Kit. So, <laughs> he asked the questions. And I am going to react the way he reacts. So, if y'all didn't watch mine, when he was at, if y'all hadn't watched when he did me, then now I'm going to do him, which I know him a lot better than he knows me. <laughs> All right, let me get find this king crab that's in here. Oof. Mm. I know y'all gonna say, well, why don't you just wait till it cool down? But it's so good when it's hot. It really is. Babe, you can turn the oven off for me? Yeah. It's hot enough. 
Thank you. All right, let's find a king crab. Oh, it's right here. Look at that big boy. Smothered. High five. Please get a bite. I need to eat this with somebody. It's so perfect. Mm, mm -mm. That is perfect. And I started recording when I was making it, but then I got, you know, you have to, I don't know. I'd be all over the place in the kitchen and then I'd be forgetting to record certain parts. <laughs> like this is going to be a messy uh, video. So I just stopped. And then I don't measure. I was like, well, maybe they just want to see you do it without measurements because i don't have no measurements i don't know how much to tell you to put in there kiana was like nobody's gonna be able to follow that i'm like oh well mm, mm, mm. oh that's good If you made this, what would you put in it? Oh, you know, you can put anything. Spinach, broccoli, asparagus. King crab, snow crab, dungeness. Clams, whatever you want in it. Like, what would you put in yours? Mm, 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 mm. I'm going to have to do a leftovers video. And I can add some more seafood to it. As y'all know, can't eat too much because it's a pasta. Mm. Is that a lobster tail right there? Oh, yes, it is. Hold um. on. I want to Kiana want to taste it. Come here. Let me see if she want to taste it, child.
<laughs> you want to taste it? Okay. Go get your little plate. I'll scoop some out. See what that other it's king crab. Oh, it's king crab right here. It's king crab. Good. Be showing out when I want to. Huh? No, we got some. Oh, we do. Uh huh. I think it's it's a whole half a carton in there or something. Mm. How do you? Dude, how'd you make this? How did I make it? Yeah. Don't worry about all that, sweetheart. Don't worry about all that. <laughs> I'm about to start showing out in the kitchen. So some, since my new schedule, I'm up early so I could just show out in the kitchen now. I'm about to show out, Key. Only thing is, trying to record and, and cook is hard. It's very hard. I can't do it. Now, if, you had, if I had somebody over me, you know... You gotta set the camera here and show this and show that and mm -mm. But I'm gonna start um mm. Y'all like broccoli and cheese? I I thought that that was the only way I would eat broccoli back in the day. With cheese on it? Mm-hmm. Broccoli and cheese used to be the bomb. Now I just um Mm, that looks good. I hate when I get full and I still want some more. Okay, y'all. Um, we're gonna do the um um questions with Kip. Want some more? That's how I know I done got down when you want more. Stop playing with me in the kitchen. I was in the gym this morning. I, I saw you up. I was <laughs> waiting for you to come in. Yeah, and I was waiting for a knock on my door. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no problem. <laughs> Is that what you were waiting on? No. Tomorrow. Really? I hear him. <laughs> tomorrow, I, hear I will him not there. on the door. I'll say you swear. <laughs> if you want me to play that exercise. I will not on the door tomorrow. <laughs> Wow. Get these in. Alright y'all, so on this part of the video, um, Kid is going to give me a scenario or a line and I am going to answer as if he is reacting. I'm going to tell you exactly what he says in every single scenario, okay? And let me know if I get it right. Or if I'm embellishing or, you know, right. over exaggerating or whatever. Right. Okay, that's right though. <laughs> okay if the kids call with a problem all right so if the kids call with a problem this is what he'll say have you talked to your child <laughs> <laughs> and i'll be like um no what happened uh you may want to let him explain it to you so <laughs> is that what you say yeah that's pretty good <laughs> Did I miss anything? No. <laughs> Y'all notice I said, have you talked to your child? Because if these kids do something crazy, it is automatically assumed that it's just my child. 
okay? Now, if they doing something good, they showing out out there, knocking down goals and stuff. Yeah, you talk to my son. <laughs> Your child, oh, he's your child when he does good. When he get in trouble, have you talked to your son? <laughs> have you talked to your daughter? <laughs> so, let's go. Number two. All right, the day before a trip. Let me tell y'all, the day or days leading up to a trip, this man will rock your last nerve, okay? Then what he does every single day until we leave. Am I lying? Hold on, let me tell you. Uh -huh. going to say, uh, Hey, countdown, you have actually four days, six hours, and 32 minutes. <laughs> like, who needs I to hear that? You don't give me minutes, but you give me hours and days. I give you days. Okay, he'll give me days. But it feels like he's giving me the actual countdown in seconds. Because he, he does this every single day and, until we leave. why do I do this? The reason he does this is because he wants me to be ready, which I'm never ready. And so he tries to remind me every day, hey, you know what you need to do. You just land there. And then when it's time to go, you're going to be panicking. You're going to have an attitude. So, yes, he will say that every day. <laughs> hey, you have exactly five days. Hey, we're on the countdown. Three days. Uh, it was that thing you say after that. Three days and uh, something. Three and a wake, and up. wake up. Yeah, three days and a wake up. So he'll say, okay, it's two days and a wake up. Hey, and then the day up, hey, you knew, you know we're leaving at six in the morning, right? Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know we're leaving at six in the morning. You know we're leaving at five, right? I'm like, Lord have mercy. Why do you feel the need? The need to what? with the daily reminders uh, because for some reason the months leading up to when we're leaving don't seem to register I'm on a new schedule now babe um, so I'll be ready all right we'll see because the next trip is coming up shortly I'll be ready you, you see how I'll be rocking with my new schedule okay you have 15 days in a wake up <laughs> see, I told you. all right let's go next one all right, when something unexpected happens that is out of your control. All right, so listen. When something unexpected happens that's out of my control, I'm not the very, I'm not the most poised person, you know, when things happen. So or he'll say, listen, control what you can control. And then he'll say, um, adapt, what's the thing? Adapt, improvise, adapt, adapt and imp overcome. Yeah, improvise, adapt, and overcome. That's exactly what he'll say. Control the things that you can control. If it's out of your control, then don't focus on that. I'd be like, but you don't understand. And you. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. Yeah, so. So behind the scenes, he's almost like my. Oh. He keeps me balanced. You know, you need that in your life. Because a lot of people be saying, well, I don't see how y'all get along. Because y'all are totally opposite. The kid is very calm and all this kind of stuff. But he, he, I definitely need some somebody that's calm. You need that balance. What, what are you saying specifically? What do you mean? You, you said we don't get along? <laughs> yeah. See, if it was just me and Kiana with our kid, oh my gosh. Wow. But I do calm you down, right? No. I make it worse? You say, here we go again. <laughs> and what is the favorite quote? What is the favorite quote? Give me a hint. I can get it if you just give me a little bit. Two tears. Oh, Lord. Yeah, that's his favorite line. Two, Two tears. tears in a no, it's like two tears in the bucket. What does that have to do with the price of eggs? Yeah. What does that have to do with no, the price of eggs? What does that have to do with the price of eggs is a uh, kitty version of two tears in a bucket. <laughs> yeah, I can't say his. You know, y'all get what he what he say. I can't say it on here. So, yeah, that's what he'll usually Rhymes say. with bucket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right, oh. next scenario. <laughs> <laughs> the neighbor's trash is everywhere. Let me tell you, sir. Y'all know how <laughs> Y'all know how people have pet peeves and stuff. This is kids, one of kids, top pet peeves. 
So the, you know how the neighbors put their trash out, but they don't have like lids on the garbage can or, you know, they don't keep it confined to the front of their yard or whatever. He loses it every time, right? He'll be like, I just don't understand why they can't respect you other people's property and why can't you put your trash in the trash <laughs> to make sure that it's not blown everywhere. And I be, you know, now this is where I'm calm. I be like, well, maybe, maybe maybe they just don't have a garbage can, you know, that has a lid. You just just working with what they have. But if you have stray cats and dogs, you know they're gonna bust the garbage you can't open. Earth. First of all, we don't have any stray cats. We do dogs. have stray cats. Have that black cats. one that lives back there. We, we yeah, have. Two kittens. We have. Yeah, yeah there's two kittens. Yeah, we have a couple, couple cats, but we don't have any dogs. Well, who was that? But, uh, that told that gar our garbage up. Remember, I set it out there and forgot to put it in the inside those the garbage. Were oh, those were uh, coyotes. No, probably little animals. Raccoons. Raccoons. Squirrels. Oh. I don't think we have. They told the garbage can. I don't think up we like have that? any raccoons, but cats do it too. So that's why yeah. I thought it was a dog. That's the beginning. And it could have been a dog. Oh, okay. Um, you know, but the, the, the problem geese? with the the problem with the trash, just so your subscribers understand this. And I don't have any problem with that if you're going to pick it up. My problem is is they don't pick it up. So just like I tell the kids, where do you think this trash is going? It doesn't disappear. Yeah, but why does it bother you so bad? Why because it winds up in my yard and okay. I have to pick it up. Right, just pick it up. No. Why am I picking up after you? <laughs> what? Who does that? So why does it frustrate you so bad? It because it's your trash. But it doesn't bother So me. pick up your trash. I don't want to pick up. It doesn't bother you and Kiana and the rest of y'all because y'all don't do any work in the yard. Okay, well, I'm just saying that's when I'm calm. I'm the calm one in there. No, that's not calm. That's the I don't, I don't care. Another thing, Dad, Dad usually does that whole thing. Yeah, he'll fold it. That's his favorite pose. I wish y'all could see Kiana. He stands out the stairs out the window with his arms folded, ready for somebody to either put some trash out there or the kids to play or something. I don't know. Y'all don't understand. See, we that was, understand. We understand. That was, that was my inner Deacon Barnes coming. Yes. Out. Deacon Barnes. Yes. You want to know? You yes. You are the yes. Mm -hmm. He used to do that. He's though. not lying, y'all. He's not lying. So while y'all think he's very calm, that's the kind of stuff that bothers him. All right. Oh, go ahead. Man. Next scenario. Uh, let's see. <laughs> That's why he's laughing. Because these are all his scenarios. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, man. Kids playing in everybody's yard. Now listen. First, let me do a disclaimer. I don't mind, you know, the kids. Because we used to play in the neighborhood like that. But Kit cannot stand when kids play in, up in somebody else's yard, running over their sprinklers, all on their grass, leaving trash everywhere. Here we go. He'll say, you know what I don't understand? <laughs> Why do you have to play in front of someone else's house? Why can't you play in your own yard? Why are you up in other people's yard? <laughs> Stay in the street, okay? And then pick up your stuff before I throw it in the garbage. Let me tell y'all how he threw somebody's shoes away when we used to live in South Florida. <laughs> I went and got my camera and recorded him throwing away these people's shoes. I'm like, why would you throw the people's shoes away, babe? I, they probably forgot about them. Right. How do you forget your shoes? On the little balls they leave in your yard. They're kids. Right. And I'm generous. And I'll let it stay for a day <laughs> or so. But after that, if you don't want it, I don't want it either. So it goes in the trash. <laughs> but, babe, when you go out there, why can't you say, hey, fellas, what's going on? How y'all doing today? Because I'm not a hey, fellas, what's <laughs> going on type of guy. You're children. I'm not your buddy. Okay, well, why can't you just say, hey, guys, let me, hey, go ahead and pick I it. I do. Babe, this time you, you put that thing in your voice. No, 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 no. Kiana, am I lying? Kiana. Hey. Hey. And I be like, oh, my God. Babe, you know, just. 
Oh, wait. I next next scenario. Let's go. Oh, Thank you, Keanu. Let me see. <laughs> Why you bust out laughing every time you see because this? Because I'm interested to see okay, what you're going to say. I'm driving on the highway. Let me tell y'all, baby. When he is driving on the highway, and just say, for instance, Somebody cuts in front of him, but it's does not in the furious. does not go as fast as he wants them to go. He, why would you cut in front of somewhere and go two miles per hour? This makes no sense. And I'm like, babe, just calm down and if just. I'm driving 75, and you get over to drive 73. What are you doing? Baby, it's not that big of a difference. Yes, it is. 75 and I'm 73. I'm a speed. Right, but you can break your speed. No. If we're on a two-lane or a three-lane road, why are you getting over in front of me to go slower? This is where I'm calm. And I'm like, babe. I'm calm. Just slow down. What now? I'd be like, babe, just calm down. And then just break your speed and allow them to go 73. Because I drive slow. So I'm a slow driver. I understand. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. There's a lot of other things. <laughs> There's a lot of other things he, he says. But I can't say them. You know? Uh, okay, let's see. When someone drinks milk. Anytime you see somebody <laughs> drinking milk. Oh, I see you got that cow snot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't want to eat that. It has the cow snot in it. <laughs> and the connectors already know. Oh, oh, is that, oh, is that the cow bus? <laughs> Kata, right while you eat, he gets on my nerves, y'all. It's He's like, so Dad. I'm trying to enjoy my meal. Can you not? <laughs> That's why he laughing so hard. Because he does this all the time to us. And see, y'all don't understand what I go through when I'm eating my food. All y'all be like, leave Ken alone. Le Ken is a mess when it comes to eating right. <laughs> oh, that looks very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kiana. I didn't even have to answer that one. Kiana took that one for me. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> when someone is eating meat. Now, I don't know what you're talking about here. The same thing with the um cow meat. When, when somebody's eating a whole lot of meat, you, you go to do it one of these like, he eating that chicken. <laughs> that disease the chicken. Oh. That'll, that'll be perfect. I see you're already preparing to eat your own cow. <laughs> okay, next scenario. <laughs> when you say you're going to be more active. Oh yeah, if I say something like, okay babe, I'm, I'm about to you know be more active, I'm about to go walking, I'm about to do this, I'm about to, well don't talk about it, just do it. Cause you already know, I start out a good two days of the month. <laughs> no, just don't even talk about it, just do it. Just execute. <clears throat> when you are active and then you finish working on it, oh, you finished your warm up? <laughs> you ready to go out there for another hour? Every day when he go jump roping, right, we have to hear, hey, you and Kiana want to join me out here? I'm like, no, good, we good. You do your thing, sir. Hey, you guys want to shake? You want a green tea? What do you ask you every, every time you walk in the kitchen? <laughs> oh, perfect timing. I got, I, I just set it up here. You, you want to Got glass? some kale? <laughs> All right, next no, one. They got some kale in there. They had a nice smoothie this morning. I like water, thank you. <laughs> put water in it. <laughs> By itself. Uh, when you tell me your goal. Okay, when I do tell him, now this is a good one. <clears throat> when I tell him my goals, like, you know, this, you know, this time I want to do this, or by this time next year I want this and all that. And the sweetest thing he'll always say is, you'll get there. And I'll be like, that just melts my heart. I don't know if you know that or not. But yeah, he's so supportive, y'all. So I had to at least end it on a good note. <laughs> so he'll be like, you'll get it. Just keep going. You'll get it. And I'll be like, thank you. All you need is that little bit of support, you know? You thank you, Superwoman. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Sorry it was so long, but 
the food is absolutely delicious y'all should definitely try it i hope i ain't have it too close so y'all can see it but so thank y'all so much for joining me i really appreciate it much love peace and blessings to each and every one of you and until the next video continue making connections with endless possibilities i love y'all bye y'all